Now, one other thing I wanted to talk about real quick with um, Unsung Connect is that there's this other thing that we call profile. Um, so, as you know, not all musicians are the same. One of the things that we that we know is that you know guitarists, for instance, they might want to play the capo version of a song. Um, the bass player doesn't want the capo version, right? And maybe the the trumpet player in the band uh, wants um, the original PDF file that has all the score, you know. Uh, and so how do you work with On Song Connect doing this stuff where like everybody's getting the song and getting the set that you have on your device and, and sharing that? How does that work with different, in uh, different instrumentalists and different vocalists and so forth? Maybe the vocalist doesn't want chords. They just want the words because they don't want all this scrolling, right? Um, so this is something called profile. And this is something that you do on your iPad. You set up your profile and how you want your songs to look. And then when you enter into this On Song Connect session, you're going to receive those songs, but your device is going to format them so that you get exactly what you want. So to do this, we're gonna go back into that share menu and pick the connect option. And over here on the far right in the tab at the bottom, we have profile. Now, a couple of things you could do here is you can change the name of your device uh, this is going to, by default, be the name that your device is called. You usually name your device, or maybe you, you're given the name, something like Jason's iPad. So you can always change that here, and that's gonna be the name of your device for, the, for On Song Connect. Okay, so if somebody receives something from you, you know, you can change that to, you know, best bass <laughs> dude, right? Just to, just to reinforce my dominance. And, <laughs> and then down below, I'm just gonna tap done there. Uh, down below there, we have a section called song version. Um, so by default, you're gonna get the shared version of the song. So whatever the leader has, they're gonna send that to you, okay? Um, but if you really, really have a special need where you have your version of the song, you don't want somebody else's to tell you what to do, you're an independent, strong, independent musician, um, you can choose use my version instead and if you have a song that matches what that what the uh, person is sharing with you it's going to use that instead okay and it's going to match that on the song title and the artist uh, it also uses the song number uh, different different things like that uh, to to make sure that you're using the right song um, or you could say none I don't want the song <laughs> you know why would I do that well if you want to control some other things here and I'll show you how changing this will affect these options down below. But if let's say you just want to receive um, the metronome toggle on off or backing tracks, you can configure it that way. I'll show you that in just a second. But down here under custom, here's where I can choose how that song that's being sent to me um, is interpreted once it's received by my device, okay? So for one thing, uh, let's ignore the top three for now. We'll go back, get back to those. But for one thing, let's say if I'm a vocalist, I may never want to see the chords. Uh, so I could tap on chords and I could turn that off. Okay, so that might be something as a vocalist you want to do that. Um, default means that I'm going to get it whether it's on or off. So if, if let's say I came into my style preferences menu and turned chords off, then everybody is going to get that version that I have. Chords are off. Um, but the uh, musicians can say, no, I want the chords, and the vocalists can say, no, I don't want the chords. Does that make sense? Um, same thing goes with lyrics. So if you're, if you're like the guitar player and you're, you're not singing along, you might not even want the lyrics. So you could turn that off. Um, external file is interesting because one of the things that you could do in OnSong is you can import, let's say, a PDF file. And let's say the PDF file is, I don't know, the notation or the score of a song. Uh, but you also want to make a chord chart. You can do that in OnSong. You can have that, you can toggle between those two um, in OnSong. So um, this would allow, let's say, the trumpet player to view the externally imported file, the PDF file, um, even though everybody else is getting the text-based chord chart. So you could turn that on, for instance. Transpose, same thing. Um, so this you could use if, let's say, maybe you want to do something like where the pianist doesn't get the transposed chord chart they get it in C because they only know how to play white notes and then you can send a post-it note hey transpose up five you know and just let the keyboard do the work you could do that um, capo that's something that's super uh, important for guitarists so for instance you could set a capo on this song you know the bass player doesn't want that the bass player wants D flat right 
Uh, and so you can turn uh, the capo off. So if you're a bass player, turn the capo off. If you're a guitar player, turn the capo on. And everybody else gets it maybe default, however the, the leader sends it. Um, same thing with diagrams. You know, do I want to see the chord, chord diagrams or not? Again, if you're an experienced person or you just want to make up how you're playing the chord while you go, uh, you don't need the diagrams. You can turn that off. If you do want the diagrams, you can turn it on if you're learning. Um, and you can also change the instrument that, that those diagrams appear in, right? So again, this is important if you're playing guitar, make sure you have guitar selected. So if the other person is sending you banjo chords, you're not seeing those. And lastly, transposing instrument. Uh, this is, gets a little complicated. If, if you're playing something like trumpet, you're playing French horn, flute, um, each of those, uh, the concert pitch starts at a different level. So Ensemble can handle the changes in that and give you what to play so that you're playing in the right key along with the rest of the band. Uh, so you have a lot of configuration options there. Now, if I were to turn off the shared version and just use my version, a lot of those go away because it's just gonna use whatever's on my device. Uh, and now you have three options that you could control otherwise. I think those are the same three that you also get if you're not using anything. And that means you just wanna kinda control what song you're viewing at any one time. But the three things that you can also have here is backing track, metronome, and navigation. Okay, so backing track means that if, if the master toggles the backing track on, that I receive that signal and my backing track turns on too, okay? Same thing with metronome. Now, something important to keep in mind is that networks have latency, which means that sometimes they're a little slow, which means that when I toggle backing track on, you might not get it for a millisecond or two, and so it might get completely um, out of whack. And then navigation, you can determine if you even want the person controlling the leader to control your device, okay? So that's important too. Uh, so again, if you have your own foot pedal and you want to control uh, how you scroll, when you scroll, do all that stuff, you can turn navigation off and then the songs will show up in the set and all that, but you're gonna have to control what you're viewing and when you're viewing.